husband Jeremiah and I, we moved uh, to Mongolia in uh, 1999 in the summer. And after some um, about half year of language study, we moved to the city Erdenet. And I came as a uh, English teacher at first. I went to the university. When I was teaching there, I really saw uh, the situation of the youth and where they had nowhere really healthy to hang out. They would hang out at bars and discos in town, in our hallways at midnight or past that, singing songs and keeping us up. And I thought, why don't they have? Why don't the youth have a healthy place to hang out? So it began with a thought and then after that um, what happened was there was a time where I had dreams about uh, having a, a youth center. I never had these uh, these ideas before but it kept me awake uh, just thinking about having a youth center in this town. It also scared me to death because I never ever did it, this kind of thing before. The name given to the vision was Eternal Springs. There are three areas that flow out of Eternal Springs. The first is the cafe, a safe environment for young people to simply hang out. Set up as a small business selling baked goods and drinks, the cafe aims to eventually make Eternal Springs a self-sustaining project. Many of our youth, it's the first job they've ever had, so they're quite excited and learn lots of valuable job skills for their future. Membership. Anyone from the age of 15 to 27 is able to sign up for membership. With their membership, they have access to the library and computer room. They are also able to join in weekly and monthly activities. The biggest influence this place has had on me is that I draw near to God a lot. Before, my life was so difficult. I was really rude and had a bad temper. I had a lot of problems. Then I came to this place and attended YTP, Youth Training Program, and served for a year. During this time, my temper, which was bad, has changed and matured a lot. Youth Training Project, or YTP, is run yearly for selected youth. It is a 35-week life skills course focusing on relationships, health, finance, and career. Graduates have the opportunity to be group leaders for the next YTP. This year, I started leading youth training program. A lot of non-Christians attended this training. Now I see that most of them have become Christians and they have desire to know God more and follow Him in their lives. Their attitude and hearts have changed a lot since attending this training. When I see how God has changed them, I think God really wanted this training and activities to be run. I'm really glad to testify that many people are changed through this. God is really working in Mongolia through youth training program. Two of our staff uh, have been for four times already and um, I think that's a, a, a great thing because I, I see the fruit of that, that what they've learned they've kept on for four years and they are discipling the youth. So the youth that we raise up are discipling the youth. The majority of the students are non question and then some of them they just come wanting to learn something from foreigner. And one one girl, her name is Mung Ho, and then she came, and then she learned about how God created her, how she is precious in God's eyes. And then she also at the main time she faced some um, family problem like uh, alcohol and then a family fight that kind of thing. And so our staff had helped her to pray to God and then pray for her family. So she became a Christian. She became a believer, and then now she is working with us in our youth center. And she really have heart to learn more about God, and she want to share more um, what she received from God to other people. I I heard about this center uh, in 2005 and uh, in uh, July, and I want to member of this center. And then after that, I want to study in your training programs. That's about. Uh, 
Uh, sometimes the, uh, we are sh uh, sharing about Jesus and we have devotion time and we have four topics of the, uh, this um, class. So I studied there and then uh, I played Jesus. Yeah. That's very uh, wonderful for me. That was very nice. And then uh, some, some after that I want to work here <laughs> and then I prayed and uh, please God, God, I want to work and if you want and if, if you want this, so please help me. I prayed like this and then one year after, of course, I worked. It has only been since the early 90s that the Mongolian people have been free from communism. This generation of youth in Mongolia have opportunities their parents never dreamed of. And still, they struggle with many of the things that youth around the world struggle with. Coming out of the communist kind of uh, rule, you know, now they have a lot more opportunities, yet they still face a lot of challenges in their own country here, um, which includes uh, sexual promiscuity and also alcoholism. Through uh, YTP, the youth training program, we're really trying to teach them life skills which um, really would affect their lives, really would you know, cause them to choose better and to have high uh, moral values. God really wanted to start this here. I think it, it's, um, you know, having a, a youth center with like this kind of cafe is a, is a really new idea for this town. Actually, there's no other place like it, so it's a pioneer project. It's, it's really worked. I mean, it's really somewhere, um, it's reached our goals we set, where youth really see it as a place that's like their home. It's a healthy place. They're learning values. They're making relationships. Um, yeah, it's reached what we set, and uh, that, you know, it's what God wanted to do, and it satisfies my heart. There are many ways for you to get involved. There are ongoing financial needs for the project to run smoothly. There is a constant need for prayer. Or how about coming for a visit? We really um, are open to short-term teams. We've had many come and it's worked out very well um, where short-term teams come to teach uh, in our English conversation hour that we have every week. I think it's a great cultural uh, exchange in a way for the Mongols because they have been close for so long now they're so open to culture so in bringing in different people they, we do like cultural hours where they, uh, all these uh, Mongols come and all the youth come to find out about different cultures. Mongolian is a really courageous people. God really give them a gift to go. And then when they really reach God's heart and they really want to go for God, then you can come and help them to equip them, to help them to go for God. Mongols, this nomadic culture, uh, in some ways we saw the purity of the people's hearts to know truth. And, and I think when you come here, you'll see that in, their, in the worship, their passion to know truth and to know God. Um, at a time when we came, so many didn't know, they just didn't hear. But it was like if they heard, they would just receive it because they've been waiting to hear it. And even today, in this town of 100,000, uh, there's still people that haven't heard. A lot of youth, they come to our center and they haven't heard the gospel. And even though there's a huge church um, here and many small ones, there's still a great need to share the gospel. Mm -hmm.